Hi, I'm Shanice Burrows, 25 years old. I'm your Miss Elutra. That's easy, my smile. I know it seems simple, but I, didn't, I wasn't always proud of my smile. When I was younger, my first two teeth fell out together and they grew back a lot bigger than the rest, as you can imagine. And I felt like the new Bugs Bunny. And my family members didn't make it any easier. My cousin called me uh, Horse Teeth Shanice. That was my name. Luckily, though, the other teeth fell out and grew in and it evened out. And then someone came up to me one day and they said, you have a beautiful smile. That experience has humbled me. So now I show off my smile at any chance that I get. People say that your eyes are a gateway to your soul. This right here, that's mine. I've always been passionate about voluntary work and at the same time, I've always felt the need to increase the enthusiasm among our Bahamian people for voluntary work. If I'm crowned Miss Bahamas, I'm going to use that platform to encourage those to come out and volunteer more, whatever it is, you, because there's nothing more fulfilling than doing a selfless act for your environment, for someone less than, or simply for something that you're passionate about. So not only would it feel like an obligation, it shouldn't feel like an obligation. Once you experience it, you will feel the this yearning satisfaction that you can get from helping out. It simply means to me that you can be smart, intelligent, very successful, and it have absolutely nothing to do with your hair or your skin color. All that really matters is what's on the inside because then that's your true beauty. First of all, if I'm a flamingo, there's no way in the world my, sister, my little sister can't know about that. So very, the very first thing I'm gonna do is fly to her house I'm probably going to be, still be able to talk. So <laughs> I'll persuade her that it's me, convince her to go with me down to Anagua, where I'm gonna sunbathe and try to blend in with other flamingos and see if they can tell I don't belong. Ariander Vanderpool Wallace, without a shadow of a doubt. She, first of all, she's an athlete. That in itself takes a lot of work, dedication and perseverance. So not only is she a motivation to our people, to our females, she tells us through her actions that opportunities are limitless for Bahamian people. You don't have to just get a government job and straight. You can follow your dreams. So she inspires me. Respected, respected hands down. If, if someone respects you, that means that you have integrity, that you work hard, and that you stood for something and they witnessed that in a time where your position probably wasn't the most popular. Trying to be liked, it's so, it's a wasteless effort, to be honest. I know because I've tried it, and I tried to please everyone, and basically no one was satisfied, especially me. If I'm respected, that means I've worked towards something, I've accomplished something, and there's someone out there looking up to me. One, two, three. Favorite form of Miss Bahamas? Darnick Young. Favorite color? Red. What makes you happy? Flowers. What's your favorite movie? Hunger Games. The last time I cried was, was the last time I opened up to someone. What's your comfort food? Pasta. Seafood pasta. Fish. Conch. It's 2 a.m. If I'm with my regimen, it's going to be carrot sticks. If you had to cook a meal to save your life, what would you prefer? Fire engine. Corned beef and white rice. I'm 25-year-old Shani Sparrows. Follow me on my journey to the crown.